Hmm. Well, that looks awful. Hello, everyone. This actually belongs to my friend who dropped it off for a rebuild. He got this quart battery pack in August of 2020, and by the time December of 2020 rolled around, cells had degraded to the point where he was really just getting about two extra miles over a stock pack, which is not really good and not exactly what you want for an upgrade that costs this much. Now, I have held on to it for much longer than I really should have. I am very apologetic to him for that, but uh, what we're gonna do in this video is we are going to cut this thing open, we are gonna go digging inside, see what's inside, and then ultimately, after we've done some exploration, I'm gonna go ahead and rebuild it with a better cell, the Molly Cell P42A. But either way, switch cameras over that way and go ahead and dig in. Start cutting the PVC shrink wrap. Should just peel off. Okay. So. So we do that. Yep. Yeah. in that corner right there. Cool. And so, you see it's gone. A whole bunch of fiber tape wrapped around and what looks to be blue-ish. It looks and feels like electrical tape. So if we zoom in a little bit more and take a decent look. Uh, the balance wires are all throughout here and then they all kind of culminate on this edge and then come out right there. And then you've got, looks to be the negative there and the positive somewhere down here. All right, so I see an entry point here in the bottom. So we're gonna start peeling that and cutting that. Let's see where that gets us. It really went to town on this dude. Okay. Just for fun. So the scissors. Spenza. <laughs> Dull it on the fiber. Wasn't that sharp to begin with. That's my fault. Alright, so the fiber tape is cut through over here. Trying not to rip too much apart, but let's turn this around. And so oh cool. So they've numbered stuff. There. Careful. Wire bundle right here. Okay. Not much to speak of on the bottom, which makes sense. Everything is wired up in the front. And so as we peel this away, some of the caps on tape comes with it, but and a little bit of fish paper, which looks like it was covered over there, which is great. Um, oh no, it was covering the positive wire. So what looks to be in here is that the negative wire is going right there on the bottom left. Circuit is like so, going up here. First balance wire, second balance wire, third, fourth, fifth, and then going right up the side, sixth, seventh, and eighth. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, right there at the positive terminal. All right, so this ain't bad, but I'm gonna do a couple things differently when I rebuild it, aside from using different cells. I'm going to use the thermistor that has the long lead so I don't have to solder it onto different wires and risk damaging the thermistor from the heat of the soldering. And these thermistors look like they're glued in with the same hot glue that's used to put the rest of this pack together. I don't know if it's the best transmitter of heat, but whatever. And all right, probably make some nicer joints and I'm not gonna really tear this down much more. It's pretty obvious how this thing is put together. And so we're gonna go ahead and just rebuild it with better parts slightly better construction and better cells. I just want to take a moment and thank my patrons for their very generous support. So thank you to Bradley Gothrop, The Spinning My Wheel YouTube Channel, Mr. Earl, Zach Murray, Denise Villanueva, Jason Glocklov, Kev Lau, and Victory Board Shop. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it greatly.
All right, so got the cells glued together, fiber tape to hold the packs together, and of course this loose cell down here. And what I've put is fish paper on either end to sit underneath the balance tabs. You really should have something more than nothing under the balance tabs because these are sharp. These are not rounded off. And so that might become problematic if it starts piercing into the insulation. And so generally what one would do is put fish paper underneath the balance tab in addition to the fish paper over the balance tab. So that way nothing here contacts the lid of the battery box. So fish paper here, fish paper here, gonna go ahead and wrap this up with some captain tape to sort of secure the edges around here and those should be good to go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and weld. What we are going to use is something a bit more robust. What I think actually will probably handle the current a little bit better is this is 0.2 millimeter thick nickel, specifically 10 millimeter wide. The stuff on the quartz is not ideal. It is 0.15 millimeter thick nickel and it's only eight millimeters wide. So the current capabilities of that isn't great. And so we're going to use something better and get this thing welded up. Quick tip, as we're putting the balance wiring harness together, it uses this connector. I will have the part number and a link to that in the article that will accompany this. So check the description for that. This thing is tiny and so are the crimps. There's a separate part number for this. I'll include that as well. But these things are very, very small and there's a, there's a bit of a finessing that you need to crimp these wires for this connector. Now this is something I learned from a gentleman, Hector Arroyo, probably one of the smartest people that I've ever uh, come into contact with. And this is a trick from him. So first you strip this wire. This is 26 gauge PTFE wire, basically Teflon coated wire, very robust and good for this because the coating is very thin. So it won't have the same kind of uh, issues that you get from silicon wire being that silicon wire of the same gauge does not fit into the crimps very well. It crowds the connector and then these spots get all messed up. So you strip off the end of that wire. I actually use this. This is an old since discontinued Leatherman Squirt ES2. Instead of regular pliers on this squirt, it is a wire stripper. And past the 20 gauge slot is something that actually fits 26 gauge wire. And it works really well because my regular larger wire stripper doesn't work. So instead of taking the crimp off of this belt strip, you just lay it right in the crimp. The insulation part goes on one set of wings. The wire part goes in another set of wings. Right there. And so using this crimper at the smallest end, doing this with a camera is a little bit of a thing. All right, crimp it till it releases. And there you go. So it is crimped very well on there. And then you don't bend it off. You just cut that section off and you're left with this little bit from the belt. And that is what you actually use to slide this into the connector since you don't have a lot of strength behind the crimp. And so you just find the space where it's going to go in here. And then you use that to slide it in until it clicks into place. And then once that's in there, you just wiggle that back and forth until this little wing thing sort of falls off. And then there you go. Usually when I use this crimper on these, it bends it a slight bit right there at the actual connector point. And so I just don't, I don't do it on this mat, just on the here. I just lay it down flat and flatten it out nice before you do that. And then it goes in much more easily. So that's the tip for that. Probably a little bit long-winded, but I'll detail this more in the write-up.
All right, so some of the balance wiring has been taken care of, everything's been soldered, and right now what is happening is the thermistors, temperature sensors, are set on the pack and the thermal glue is drying or curing, whatever. So this is all I'm gonna do for now until that sets. And once that is done, I'll do the final wire management, add the rest of the insulation, and then wrap it up. All right, so we've made some progress. Balance leads are all secured down. Fish paper under and over the balance tabs. Same thing over here. And I've routed them as best I can to essentially be out of the way of one another as much as possible. And temperature sensors are secured in. Thermal glue is dried. Place the balance connector there. Little bit of fish paper in the back right there. That's where the nickel fold is. So that's protected and fish paper over these and over these balance leads as well. And so extra fiber tape all around there, sort of just securing the whole thing together. And what I'm doing now is this is 3M vinyl tape, the strip on the bottom that goes around that cell and sticks out right there. And I will put another piece of the vinyl tape across that top section right there. Once that's done, I will PVC shrink wrap the whole thing and it will go back into the board from whence it came. Hmm. Well, that looks awful. All right, that one worked. And there you have it. A little bit under a hundred bucks in parts, some time and a little bit of elbow grease, and this is done. There will be a more detailed write-up along with some more pictures and thoughts on this build or rebuild on my blog. Link to that in the description below. Take a look if you'd like some more information about this little bit of a project here. And apart from that, this is going to go back to the pint from whence it came. So I hope you got something from this. Hope you learned something. And at the very least, maybe you were entertained. This is your second reminder to leave a like and be sure to subscribe for more content because in the next video, we're going to take a look at how shoes affect foot fatigue. Thank you for watching and don't fall. It's a quick thank you to everyone that pre-ordered one of the power banks. They are officially sold out and the cells have arrived. I am waiting on the rest of the enclosures and a few extra parts and I will start building battery packs. There are many shirts left and I do have some one wheel fast chargers that are listed on my web store. So if you're interested in one of those, go ahead into the link in the description and check those out. But mostly, thank you very, very much to all of you that got a power bank and very sincere thanks to anyone who has been extra in supporting the channel. I very much appreciate it and I will see you all soon.